Hi guys, Josh here. Today, I'm going to show you the baseball choke. The baseball choke is kind of a tricky technique. Sometimes you can use it from unexpected position, as like side control on the bottom, or against the inside pass, as a counter attack. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the baseball choke, the basic structure, and then some kind of ways to finish. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, the first I want to explain about the structure of choke, the baseball choke. Okay? The cross grip choke, like a regular D choke, you have to cross your arms, like grab the cross grip, like this, and then you can apply the pressure. Look, as you cross your arms, you have a leverage to squeeze, to choke like this. But on the other hand, baseball choke, you don't need to cross your arms. Like, you just wanna grab the same side of your hands on this car like this. The far side, you make palm up like this, okay? Then near side, palm down, like get your thumb inside, like this. It's the same, uh, the same grip as a baseball grip bat, like this. No. The same grip as a baseball bat, you grab like this. So this is the grip, okay? But as you can see, I don't cross my arms at all. That means I cannot apply pressure even though I cross my arms like this. So in order for me to apply pressure, I need to rotate. That's how I squeeze him, okay? So here, in this position. I just wanna show you a way that do exaggerate. Okay, so from this position, if I take a walk to the side like this, look, I cross my arms. That means I can apply pressure as like the cross grip choke like this, okay? At the beginning of the time, I didn't cross my arms at all, but as I take a walk around him, at least I cross my arms, then I apply the pressure. So once I understand the structure, you can do as a counter attack. Okay, the first one, I wanna show you from the side control on the bottom. So this situation, I wanna make two grips. The first one, I wanna start with far side grip. I get my thumb inside, like this. That can be like a right next to his neck, right? I just wanna put my blade on his neck like this. Okay, near side, I wanna get my four fingers in, like this. Then I make the same grip as I explained last one, okay? Then once I set up, I'm going to apply the pressure, okay? Now he's too close for me to squeeze it. That's why I slightly push him away to extend my arms like this. Once I extend my arms, I connect both of my elbows, okay? I made a frame. The next thing I'm going to do is rotate, like take a walk around him, okay? Thing in order for me to do, I gotta look at the opposite side, as if I expose my back on him. But it's okay. As long as I make the car grip like this, he cannot attack my back. Okay? So I should wait to finish once, okay? I extend my arms, look at the other side. Then, from this position, I gotta take a walk, look. As I take a walk to the other side, I apply pressure as like the regular choke, okay? Now I should have a way to do, more realistic to do. He already got a body lock like this, then he passed my guard like this. Of course, the first choice I want to escape was making a frame. But if you know a baseball to do as a counter attack, that can be a really good choice, okay? I start with thumb grip first, okay? I get my thumb in like this. I even usually use this one when at the time I escape, right? Sometimes I may not be able to get my frame like this, as the head is so tight. In this case, I just want to simply get my thumb inside a jacket like this. Then I can push it away like this, okay? Okay, next, I'm gonna make the second grip. That's the toughest part in this technique. As you can see, he already isolated my right arm. I cannot make the decent grip from this position. I need to get my hand under his arm, okay? So in order for me to do, I use this grip, okay? But this is not good enough. I do the bridge, like the chilling bench press to lift him up. Okay. As soon as I lift him up, I get my hand in like this. As soon as I get my hand inside, I just want to grab his jacket with four fingers like this. Okay. Then I set the grip. Then from now, I'm going to do the bridge again. Yeah, as you can see, he already puts me in pressure like this. I cannot extend my arms at all. So I do the bridge to lift up his upper body. Okay. As soon as I lift him up, I extend my arms like doing a straight punch. Then once I connect my elbows like this, it's getting harder for him to make chest to chest. Can you drive it on me? Look, even though he does, he cannot put, my, put his chest on me. Look, I already use my right arm like in a frame between me and him, okay? The after like that, I'm gonna make the leverage, okay? So in this choke, I cannot look at him. 
If I look at him, I have no leverage at all, okay? I gotta look at the opposite side. Then I take a walk. That's how I apply the pressure, okay? It should be a little weird to do it, but in this type of particular situation, you gotta do it, okay? I the bridge, then look. Then I take a walk. Another reaction, he may push me away to secure the space. That's what people like to do against a regular choke, like this, look. But as you can see, against a baseball choke, it doesn't work. This is the opposite structure of the basic choke. Even though he tries to push me away like this, he gives me another more space. Then I can even collect my elbows, look. Can you push me away so much? Like this, look. It doesn't work. That's why this is really strong. Okay, next one. Like country against the knee slide. Of course, the first priority, I want to retain a position, like a regain a position by using my shin or getting back to the guard. But he already puts his knee on the mat. I already catch his ankle like this. Yeah, this is bad position for me. So, like I said before, if you know how to use a baseball choke as an account attack, that can be a good choice from this position, okay? I start with making grips. Near side, I get my thumb inside, like this, okay? Then, far side, I get my four fingers in. Baseball back grip. Then sometimes, his upper body may be a little away from me, then I may not be able to reach it. So in this case, I will use this grip to pull him down. Then I slightly bring him forward, and then I get my four fingers in like this. Once I set up, I ready for a choke. So if you compare to the last one, it's way easier for me to make the frame. Look, this is more distance than the last one. So I can easily connect my elbows each other once I set the grips. Okay. Then from this position, in order for me to apply the pressure, I need to give up the half guard. Okay. It's like encouraging him to pass my guard. So once I set up, I open my legs, look. So from this position, he's going to get side control, like pin me. But against this movement, I look at the other side, he's taking a walk. Look how I keep on extending my arms, and then I apply the pressure. So it's very important to know the baseball choke, even though you don't use it. Uh, otherwise, you will get choked. Especially from this position, if I use my thumb on this side to grab like this, this is a very irregular grip, right? And that's why. He should know once I grab like this. Anyway, so once I get some inside like this, I grab the far side to make grip like this, okay? He may even grab my sleeve to pull up, to like a, like a knee slide like this. But it's okay, once I set up, I ready for that. I open my legs to catch me to pass my guard, look. Right? One thing I have to be careful is keep the frame, like extend my arms, right? Once my elbows are bending like this, I can no longer finish it. That's why as if I keep his head away from me with my arms like this, okay? And from this position, definitely he wants to like posture up or something like this, but as long as I extend my arms, I can apply the pressure. Hey guys, my name is Daniel. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please push the like button and leave us a comment down below. If you want to learn more techniques, simply hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when we upload a new video. This way we can bring you new and improved content. Thank you and see you next time.